Democratic primary for U.S. Senate is another race we're closely following. Nine candidates hoping for the uh, right to take on Senator Ted Cruz in the fall. Well, Marcelina Benito is standing by with how this race is shaping up tonight. Marcelino. Well, guys, we were expecting a runoff in this race. Instead, this was a good old-fashioned thumping at the hands of Congressman Colin Allred. You see all that teal on that map? Those are all the counties he's currently leading, and he's going to be the man that will move on to take on Senator Ted Cruz in the fall. With 62% of the vote right now in, he is leading with just under 60%. That number right there is important. He's crossed well above the 50% threshold. There will be no runoff. We heard from both men Allred declaring victory tonight. His opponent, State Senator Gutierrez, Gutierrez conceding. Take a listen to both men just moments ago. We know where Ted Cruz stands when those moments come. When 30 million Texans are freezing in the dark, he decides to go to Cancun. When our democracy was under attack, he's hiding in a supply closet. After he was the one who whipped up the mob, we know where he stands. We as Texans can rise up and on November 5th, send Ted Cruz packing. About five minutes ago, I called a congressman to congratulate him. We got to give him that. He worked hard. We got to give him his, his due. And so um, we called to concede this thing today. And just moments ago, we heard from Senator Cruz, who also won his primary tonight, telling us in part, quote, I look forward to continuing to meet Texans in every corner of the state as we work together to ensure that we keep Texas, Texas. Now, nationally, I can tell you guys, Democrats think this is a seat they could flip in the fall. If Democrats are able to do that, it would be the first time Democrats win a Senate seat in the state of Texas since 1988. We'll wait and see. Back to you.